Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. This could be embarrassing, may not be interesting to that many people, but I've just been over the old uh, the other house and my sister has left this out. This came down out of the roof. Now some of you may have heard me mention that a long time ago I used to do a lot of photography and that would have been in black and white and I processed my own film. This is in the days where you had a roll of film in the camera and I used to develop and print my own photos up in the up in the loft at, um, at uh, a previous previous house. This is the folder of some of those photos. Now this could be embarrassing and it's not going to be of interest to everybody. A lot of the photography I did in those days was um, Along, along artistic lines, I was interested in black and white being really black and white. So I often used to burn areas in <clears throat> to make them darker or mask them to make them lighter in the, in the um, printing process. Anyway, we'll, we'll start having a look. I don't know how long I'll go on for. Uh, that looks interesting. That doesn't look like one of mine. It's not one of mine. What have we got here then? Dear oh dear oh dear. Uh, what we've got here is a photo of me when I was very young on the left hand side <laughs> with hardly any clothes on. I wouldn't do that nowadays. And some some people I recognise and some I don't. I don't know what event that was but it's got WHS logo there so it was something to do with WH Smith so I worked for them for a while in the IT section. Um, yeah that's the sort of things I used to just take pictures of. The subject was less relevant than the, the contrasts and the shallow, shadows and things. I mean, that's just a fence post in the snow. That's all it is. But the interest for me was in this area. So, so I better load her upside down. There was an old um, bridge in Dorchester over the river. With um, The interest there was the, um, the bland sky that was just overcast which made the trees silhouetted and with the raw iron um, railings around the pathways and the bridge I thought that was interesting. I also did some photography classes and we did some we used to have um, a subject and so, uh, we did have a model in once I wasn't that interested in that sort of thing. So there's probably going to be quite a few planes in here. It's a B-52 at Fairford. There's an F-15, uh, 16, sorry, F-16. Ah, oh, that's my previous cat, Tigger. <laughs> Why was a grey and white cat called Tigger, I hear you ask. <laughs> because the girlfriend I had at the time always wanted a cat called Tigger. So, Tigger. And it's another one of the studio photos. This, this was a class, but not, not by choice. Um, that was a friend who started doing a type of colour photography and he sent me the, a, a sample of what, what I could do if I tried it. I didn't. Right, what we've got here... <laughs> Where I lived in Swindon, n the nearby town Chippenham had a very, very, quite famous venue for bands. It was a converted cinema. Um, it was called Gold Diggers, I think, and that's up in the balcony taking pictures with no flash with a very, very powerful zoom. That's Wishbone Ash, by the way. Uh, you wouldn't know them. Well, some might. Um, that's um, Laurie Wisefield, brilliant guitarist. Um, but yeah, I took these pictures from up in the balcony with a very, very powerful zoom and they basically came out virtually black because I had no flash and I uprated the film dramatically to get something out of them. Although although a bit dark, I got something. I mm, see Laurie Wise feel quite clear. And I also used to help the guy at um, Swindon Speedway. Um, and we were allowed access to the centre of the track so I could take shots of Speedway people from the centre of the track. Everybody else had to take them from the outside of the track. So totally dis different perspective. Um, more band photos. Wishbone Ash. F-16. 
16. I'm sure that's the same shot. Now that shot I liked a lot. That's just a, a, a little place on the side of the road. Um, but what I liked about that again was the contrast between the, the trees that often look best in black and white photos in winter without the leaves on and the reflection of the signs in the water. I, I, I thought that made quite a good composition being all arty, arty farty as they say. And yet again, that was just contrast. That was just the um, the, raw, uh, the cast iron mechanics for a gate on a canal. Oh. Ah, and this this was an advertisement on the TV about something to do with something is dead, and and this is the new thing or something like that. But the actual advert advertisement was filmed on a hillside very close to where I lived in those days so I went up and took a picture of the dead cars as well. It looks really odd doesn't it? That's surreal. But that was the idea of the advert anyway. <coughs> It'll be an F4 Phantom. Flicked up wings. Nothing else like that. Uh, cockpit of uh, looks like a hawk. More trees against leaden skies. As I say, there'd be a lot of planes in here, I expect. There's a Hawker Hunter. Ooh, more wishbone ash shots. <laughs> I can't even work that. That was abstract. That's basically the picture of a, a picture of a swan's head against and blurred a pale background so that the swan's head disappears and all you're left with is the beak and the eye. The head's there. A little experiment. More wishbone ash photos. That's actually um, a stained glass window um, in somebody's front door with the light shining through it. Birds on a pond. Birds on a pond. Mallard. And that was my other cat. Other cat. Now this was a rare cat because this was a ginger cat, and it wasn't a tomcat. This was a female cat, and her name was Toodles because the girlfriend at the time wanted a cat named after the cat in Tom and Jerry. Is you is or is you ain't, mum baby? That bring back a memory, won't it? It's another picture of that. Um, unusual building with the trees and a reflection in the water. Another one of that model. Ah, and that was um, one of the planes captured from the Falkland Islands. Um, <laughs> you could say it was a good job they didn't get off the ground. Another picture of Toodles. More pictures. Ah yeah, that was that was the way the advertisement went. You had the dead cars up on the hillside and the, the, the new one sort of driving. I think it drove through them, if I remember rightly. So there were a lot of them. They didn't use them all in the actual advert, but they set them all up. More motor uh, speedway pictures. That's probably somebody really famous, but I wasn't that interested. Um, again, abstract. Just shapes and shadows, just scaffolding and ladders, and shadows of. We're not here. Again, very heavy on the black. Um, series of um, banked steps going up through a woodland. And the sort of nice bark on the trees. More speedway stuff. I think you go faster if you keep both wheels on the ground. More studio shots, more speedway stuff, more speedway stuff. <laughs> I was almost lying on the ground to get that. And I had a friend who did some speedway shots like that and he actually got run over because the bike lost control and he was lying on the edge of the ground. That's a lousy shot. More studio stuff. You know, that was I liked that shot because I liked the perspective, the way it went in. There was a very deep depth to it, if you see what I mean. And with the dark trunks of the trees all gnarly, the leaves 
although pale green, showed white against them. So I actually quite like that shot. More heavy bark on trees. Um, pine trees these are. Again, gnarly old stonework against the sky and the silhouette. Notice nearly all my trees in my shots were winter shots. Didn't take pictures of the trees in the summer. And that was, where was that? Um, disused RAF base. I think that was actually on the, uh, on the edge of RAF Fairford where they um, hold the international air tattoo now. Um, can't remember, see that? That looks like a snow picture, but I don't think it is. Don't like that. <laughs> Again, just dark and light. Just to take pictures of anything. Now that's a snow picture. That's a proper snow picture. Snow stuck to all the branches on the trees. Nice black tyre tracks and perspective going into the distance. You find that people who paint scenery nearly always do that. They have something to lose a path behind, either over the brow of a hill or behind a tree, to give it that depth. We can do it in photography as well. Another snow picture, <laughs> ornamental trees sticking out. And that black in, that must have been a road, I suppose. More studio shots. Too black. Don't know why I kept that one. That was supposed to be dark and light, but uh, not enough light. And, um, statue, stonework. Goodness knows where that was. Well, I haven't got a clue where that was taken. <laughs> a harbour. Actually, that might be... No, it's not. I was going to say it might be Muddyford, but it's not. That, goodness knows what that was. Well, that's, a, that's a good shot of Tigger. He was a nice looking cat. Little white bib. Rose for a rose, with raindrops on. Harrier. I miss them, those were good at the air shows. Oh, that's that stained glass again. More pictures. I'm starting to get bored, so I expect you are. There's more pictures of that band, Wishbone Ash. Again, Wishbone Ash. Oh, there was a bass player there. He stayed out of the shop most of the time. And one with some spotlights. Yeah, that's come out. That's come out quite good because you've got one silhouetted, two lit, lit up, and the drums showing up with heads in the front. Oh, that didn't turn out too bad, considering where I was taking it from. Another shot of Toodles. Tigger again. Seascape. See, now that's a very, very heavily uprated film to get it to go grainy. Uh, that's probably recognisable. I can't remember where that was, but it's an island with a fort on that looks like a submarine in the harbour. I was going to say Spitfire, but it's not. Plain. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's a VC-10, I think. Although, no, I don't know. I've got a feeling they're twin, twin twins. Don't know. More Speedway. Ah, something different. What have we got here? Lichen, or um, that sort of thing. No, not lichen. Um, fungus, we'll get there. Fungi on a tree trunk. Again, it's just light and dark. As I said, sometimes the subject matter didn't matter, uh, didn't matter at all. I got told off for that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be making them look like they're painted with silver paint. And, and he, <laughs> the guy running the class said, how on earth did you get that exposure when you actually took it straight into the light? That's literally, that halo is, is one of the lights lighting up the model. I took a picture straight into it to get a halo effect. Uh, more speedways. That's a red arrow, pork. Ooh, lots of red arrows. They don't work in black and white. 
<laughs> you need the red. That's a um, Sally B, I think that one is. American um, World War II thing. Oh, that's me being arty, trying to get perspective on uh, engines with the tail into the distance. What's that? To Sally B again. Don't know. Here we have a house. I've got a clue where that is. <laughs> or why I took the picture, come to think of it. That was another one of that um, wrought iron mechanism. Aha! Tornado with its wings back. Good stuff. Cockpit of... I don't know. Ah, oh, it's uh, um, Phantom, I think. F4 Phantom. That flappy thing over the engine. Tigger again. Studio stuff. Studio stuff. Studio stuff. Oh, that I quite liked. That was somebody um, carved that into a tree. Black Sabbath and various other symbols. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps they held satanic rites in front of that tree. Who knows? Band shots. Eight, uh, yeah, A10 Thunderbolt. <laughs> that um, heavy duty uh, minigun in the front of that plane is not something you want to be in front of when it's in, when it's angry. You really don't. That's a Harrier. Don't know. Don't. Oh, that's, that's. I was going to say that looks like Sally B again. Yes, it is. It's got. The, it's got it written on it. If you get in close enough. Another F4 Phantom. You can tell I went to a lot of air shows. That's me, me being arty again. Perspective down the line, following the um, refueling. Uh, thingy sticking out the front. That's Nimrod. Oh, that's the old mod, old mod, if, old mod of the Nimrod plane. F4 Phantom Air intake. Tornado. Actually, that might have been the Tornado Air intake. Rose with water on. That's not a bad shot because there's two of them in it. Most of the shots I did at Speedway only seem to have one bike in. I think there was normally four in a race. And that's it. So there you go. I suspect that was totally boring to many people. Tough. You don't have to watch it all. And as I've said, I used to do an awful lot of black and white photography. Um, some studio work in a class that I took. Um, I took the class initially um, to help out with the developing and printing techniques. Um, which I, you know, I'd only ever read in a book. Yeah, I did used to read books in those days. Because <laughs> didn't have the internet to get all the information off. Uh, the information wasn't there. Um, so yeah, I did used to do stuff from books in those days. But um, yeah, that's to be preserved. Um, that was left behind. So if somebody hadn't thought I might like to see that, that would have gone in the bin. So, rescued. Anyway, uh, something totally different. See you next time.